Hey, welcome back. First, I want to start off by saying congratulations to all the subscribers out there. We've crossed the 500 subscriber mark, so I will be giving the IP camera away, and at the end of this video, I will do a short introduction of that piece of hardware, and then I will do the giveaway tonight and a video to put out there so that the subscriber can contact me for shipping details so I can get that off to them. But the main point of this video is to adopt our UVC G3 into our NVR. Now this is not the Ubiquiti hardware NVR, this is a custom Linux box that I run in my lab that has all of Ubiquiti's free software that will run on Linux is, is loaded on here so that we can play with it. And you can see that I've got a UVC G2 in the lab. That's the only other camera that I have hooked to this particular NVR. And I do have the G3 hooked up, but we need to hop over to the edge router and find the IP real quick. And you'll notice that this says uh, unify.howx5.com. But this is in the 192.168.66 subnet. And our camera is actually going to be in the 192.168.2 subnet. So you, you can see how well this works going across subnets being routed. Looks like the camera is still 2.40. And, oh, you're getting a, a little bit of a shot of the lab. So there's the top of the rack. This is all, all lab. There's my, my green screen. So that's fantastic. That means the camera is working. I just threw together an Ethernet cable because I do want to get some outside shots with this. On the, I'm going to do a live stream video after this, but there'll also be some outdoor shots of this camera. So we are going to leave this as UVC G31. We're going to leave everything pretty much default, except we're going to put this in Unify video mode. And we're going to point it over to the Unify video server. We'll save these changes. Hop back over here. And now I have an unmanaged UVC G3 number one. UBNT, UBNT is the default username and password. I am just going to leave this alias as UVC G3 one. We're going to go ahead and manage this. Looks like it's going to upgrade the firmware. You can see that that UVC G2 is in a different subnet. Now this could be actual physical different subnets that are connected by a router, which is what this is. This could be VLANs on the same switch. Could be VLANs on the same on the same router. So you can see the little icon even looks looks different here. So let's see what some of our options are when we bring this guy up. So you can see the live stream. It looks like it's still on the same firmware, so I'm not 100% sure what it did. So we can set the resolution, the on-screen display. There's this little accessories. Enable external accessory is off. Of course, there's nothing plugged into that. That's where that extended IR setup can go. On-screen display. We can turn the timestamp on. We can override the default message. And then the watermark is the Ubiquiti logo. We'll turn that off. Then our recording options are don't record, always record, record only motion, record on schedule. And if we do select record only motion, then we get to select our resolution. So that's a full 1080 there. And then we can configure our zone, the minimum motion event trigger, and how many seconds to capture before and after the event. We can come over and look at the stats on the camera. 
we can manage the camera. So here's the configuration. Now if we want to mess with any of the actual image settings, we can bring the camera up. And you can hear the audio. And I'm going... You can actually probably hear that, so I'm going to turn it down while we're doing this. So, and then Ubiquity does have this digital. This is a digital zoom, not not optical. Uh, we can. I think this is the full screen button. Then we can go to the configuration, and we can mess with the IRs, the AE, the orientation, the WDR, the sharpness. Uh, the noise, the saturation, hue, contrast, and brightness. I believe this is where we can take a snapshot. So you'll see that that was just a snapshot that it, that it took. Quality settings. Then you saw me mess with the mic volume. That's a little bit of an overview. This guy is now in the NVR and we could have it record on motion we can set it up so the next video that I do with this will be I'll get you some outside footage and then we will configure a live stream so stick around real quick and I am going to show you the, cam uh, the camera that we're going to give away so now that we've crossed the 500 subscriber mark we are going to do a giveaway I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care where you live. I am going to give away I am going to give away an IP camera. It's not a Ubiquiti camera. It is a Tenvis, which is kind of like a Foscam. So before I got into Ubiquiti, this or Foscam was kind of my, my go-to. But this is a decent camera, brand new, in the box, is what you're going to get. It can be uh, Wi-Fi or hardwired. There is an app that you can use. It works with Blue Iris in VR. It's got two-way audio, motion detection and alerts, pan and tilt, and night vision. And I, like I said, I use this and Foscam exclusively. So I will be doing the giveaway video later this evening. I probably should get out and like mow the grass. Haven't done that yet this week. Uh, probably just need to top the weeds off. It's been kind of dry, but we'll do that. But we will come back and I will give this thing away tonight and I will reach out. So if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you at the giveaway.